kind of a grassroots level, girls, young girls, are not taught to to take up technical subjects at school. You know, and and if and if they are, they are only engineering focused. Like what I said previously is that we, there's other skills in there. I mean, the 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 the, the construction sector is evolving. It requires other skills that predominantly would, were not considered. And here, an example is the community engagement. We know now that with any project that you're going to be uh, executing, you need to engage the community. You need to make sure that um, you know the community benefits from the project. And that requires the social skills and not an engineering skill, not maths and science. So girls were not taught to take up um, technical subjects. By the way, the girls are also taught by males, you know, and in the environment, even when they venture into the corporate world, they are welcomed by males. So they are all surrounded by males, which doesn't make it easier. But if it were women that would taught them these subjects, that would taught them that not only engineering, there's others, there's welders, there's artisan jobs that they can venture, which is part of the value chain of the of the sector, by the way. But we are so focused on engineering only, you know. Hence, some people are also not good at maths and science, but they're good with their hands. They could be carpenters, they could be welders, they could be bricklayers, and and that is not taught. So that's that's one. And then there is also, for for me, then there's the employer space, the environment in the working working space that is not uh, welcoming. That is still male dominated, um, the, the harassment and the fact that women have to prove themselves ten times more than their male, co male counterpart. Um, they are not given the same chance. I mean, UK is a way of example and I think they're taking a lead in this space. From a government point of view, there is some policies, but they're not I think what, where, where the issue is, is the implementation and the measurement thereof, uh, of its effectiveness, the policy effectiveness. Um, so for me, that is something that it's at three levels. It is at the grassroots level, where I'm talking from a, from, a, from a schooling point of view. I'm speaking of the corporate environment and lastly, the government. So that's why you find that most women don't take up positions or even venture from a from a career in, in into in, into the space so more has to be but we're deliberate in our actions and that's what is required i'm giving you some of these examples uh, to fast check transformation because it is about transformation transformation is not only about race it's about gender it's about you know gender equality and adversity and all of that and and another thing that that conco has done also, I mean, if you look at our board, it is reflective of the gender equality. We've got a lot more uh, board members that are women as opposed to, to, to male. That's also um, reflective to the demographics of our, of our country. I look at my involvement at the executive level is also a demonstration of how someone has made a, a, a decision uh, to a, a rather con conscious decision to place me where I can make meaningful contribution. I mean, I'm involved in decision making of taking Congo to, to the next level, strategic decision, but it needed to take someone with deliberate actions to make sure that there is a woman in EXCO. There's only two of us, it's not enough, we need more, uh, but uh, but that's, for me, it's an indication that we're moving to the, to the to, it's a step to the right direction. At a broader level though, I mean, I'm talking others now, organization needs to provide mentors for undergraduates and for young graduates entering the, the construction the construction industry there has to be a plan a practical plan that that that, that helps to 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 you know uh, helps women entering the, the industry navigate the industry because i think that's where it's important and for me what is also important is that women like me who are already at a senior level, I need to be those mentors to, to those women. I need to show them that it can be done. I need to use the lessons, my own lessons, you know, the, the, the hardships that I've gone through as, 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 as tools to empower them. 
So it can be, it can be, um, it, it, it's a, it's a, it's a, it has to be inclusive. It has to be inclusive. The lessons that are, for example, that have equipped me on my own personal journey uh, should be, should I should be able to, 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 to pass that on to a graduate, to a, 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 a woman that's entering. What's important is that they mustn't even see it as a, just a career, you know, brick and mortar, cement and all of that. But they must see the career that changes lives for the better. It is the passion and the drive. And I think with this career, what is important is that it develops communities. You know, it is one sector that the results are tangible. The output is tangible. You come in, it's a green field. You leave, there's a building. People are living in that building. You know, you're changing lives. I think what is also uh, important is that it's a heritage building. You're building heritage. And even that generation to come will continue to enjoy the legacy they leave behind or they've built. You know, leaving a legacy knowing that you have provided basic needs to the community. Not only that, remember now, you come in there, you empower because you sometimes, in fact, most now, you have to employ to the benefit of the, or, or, or rather employ locals. You have to empower the locals, source supplies from the locals. You are already enhancing skills. This is skills development that you're doing there. And, and by the time you leave that community, you're leaving a community with skills that can sustain themselves and their families. So I think what is important is that it's the legacy, and I think they mustn't see it just as a career.